the Spitfire has slipped into the lineup outside, while its arch rival is made ready. What we're really doing is checking to see that the aircraft's functioning properly, haven't been shipped all the way here and then put back together again. It's as simple as that. Also, this aeroplane hasn't flown since September in, in the UK, so it's been on the ground for six months. Um, uh, it's not practice from the pilot's point of view at all. It's testing. Testing. What can go wrong with an aeroplane that doesn't fly for six months? Um, Really, there's, there's not much likelihood that, that anything's going to go wrong with it as a result of sitting on the ground. Uh, with the case of a Messerschmitt, which is um, a very rare uh, and exotic aeroplane with regards to the engine and, and particularly the engine, you're just making sure that everything is running right before you commit it to an air show. It's as simple as that. You know, you might have, it could be anything, it could be small oil leaks, it could be uh, hydraulic leak, something like that. Um, I don't actually anticipate any problems at all. Um, but we go through the formality of testing because you look pretty silly to charge straight off into an air show and then have the oil leak on the day, you know, so it's, it's a formality, really. It's a very famous aircraft by the look at the number of kills on the tail. <laughs> well, uh, the this particular um, aeroplane does not have such an exotic history as the markings in which it's now represented. Uh, it's, been, it's been repainted as a, a famous German night fighter aces aircraft, but only one or two small pieces within the airplane are actually belong to that original airplane, I'm afraid. So what do you think of it so far? Hopefully you're enjoying it. If you dive over to www.historicalmachines.tv, you can sign up for a free seven day trial and you can watch the full length version of this film. Their sound is legendary. With such complicated moves, the crowd needed information from the commentators. This year's guest info man was very impressed with the action. It reminds me a lot of the UK maybe 15 years ago before air displays got quite as regulated as they are now. But that is not to imply that any of this is indisciplined. So there's a, there's a, a free spirit out here that I, that I really do enjoy. Um, the fact that people are considered to be responsible for their own flying as opposed to having it written for them and told precisely within the bounds they're going to fly. BF-109 lands, beaten, while triumphant father Ray follows in. Join us on our full advert free streaming service at historicalmachines.tv, where you'll find lots more great footage just like this, all for less than the cost of a cup of coffee per month.